What are you wearing today? I'm wearing a filth and coat vintage. Stop it. This is full on. It's all like nostalgic patches. And he has a removable hood, just like me. <laughs> what up, y'all? The weather's been so unpredictable in New York City. Yesterday, there was a monsoon. Today, it's sunny. So with that being said, let's go see what people are wearing. What are you wearing today? I'm um, wearing a filth and coat vintage. Tiffany belt, Elsa Peretti, Taurus buckle. My son's a Taurus. It's really snotty. Artisanal Margiela skirt. Pam for Levi's uh, wrapped around and the uh, Uggs. Very cool. It's I colder than I expected. I know, right? <laughs> this wind. Yes. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Where's it from? Yeah, where do you get your style inspiration? The weather. Just depends on the weather. <laughs> yeah. So you mentioned your actress. Do you mind yeah. saying what kind of acting you do? Uh, I do acting in the movies and TV and sometimes on theater. Okay. Theater. What's your name? Chloe. Chloe, I'm yeah. John. Nice to meet Hi, you. John. Nice to meet one you. more question. If you could give one piece of advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? Do more. Stay busier. Starling welcomes you on this video visit to New York City. Like um, What are you wearing today? Uh, vintage Indiana Jones uh, Last heavy jacket Maharishi pants Money shoes Healthy shades Where do you get your style inspiration from? Travel What's your favorite place to travel? Favorite place Mexico For sure oh, yeah. What do you do for a job? The music Producer and DJ What kind of music? Uh, a lot. Uh, ambient, a lot of scoring stuff, and I play a lot of drum and bass. What is your biggest goal? Photo show. A gallery type thing? A gallery type thing, experience, yeah, a little soundboard, hold on. Awesome. So something I do is I give people a $2 bill for having a nice style. Oh, thank you, man. Take Appreciate care, it. Man. What's your name? What are you wearing today? Uh, it's a dress reformation. You know this brand? Yeah. It's very cool, very cute. I love this Perfect print. Perfect for spring. This is Dior shoes. Uh, Dior back. Uh, I'm a blogger also, so try us. And my jacket is Ukrainian brand. And I glasses is uh, Cartier. I love your outfit today. Thank you so much. Where are you from? Ukraine, but I live in the city. If you give one piece of advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? Oh, you know, uh, first one is uh, buy Bitcoin. <laughs> 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 and and next one, uh, don't wait for a special moment because you never know what can happen tomorrow and in next minute. Do now. I love that. Thank you so much. Biggest goal, get my green card and to see my parents because I didn't saw them two years and I miss them. Well, I hope you can see them soon. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> this is for luck. Cool. <laughs> thank you so much. What yeah, is your will. Instagram? What are you wearing today? Comme des Garçons is the suit. This is like vintage... Somebody? Woolridge? Pendleton? Oh, it's Pendleton. I don't know who makes these boots. I forget. They're amazing. And like a Prada sweater jacket. What are you wearing today? Hello. Um, I'm wearing a Armani blazer I got from a thrift store in my hometown. I'm wearing a shirt by Prada, Linea Rosa, that I thrifted in London. Um, my sunglasses are plastic and just cheap. Ten dollars, I think they're my mother's. These trousers are also my mother's. Probably five bucks, they're from Ann Taylor. And then my shoes are Bottega Veneta that I thrifted. Well, not thrifted, but I got them on eBay for six dollars. A part of a rain jacket that my grandmother gave me. And then the accessory is just a Monchichi. But I'm dressed like him. <laughs> so I wanted to wear it. And he has a removable hood, just like me. <laughs> So you call this a shirt, but it's kind of like a hoodie. It's a bit of a hoodie, a hybrid situation. It's got a nice zip. It has great pocket spaces should I need here. There's also another pocket on the back. It, it's just a fabulous shirt. I really enjoy wearing it because it has just a lot of different uses. And I love the baby blue and I love baby blue and brown together, just like my son. <laughs> What's your son's name? I just call him my son. <laughs> so where do you get your style inspiration from? Um, you know, everything. I think I'm a product of my environment and also my mother's daughter and she's a thrifty dresser who has a knack for creativity and she uh, was a photographer so she has a lot of visual inspiration. Right now I work as a reservationist for a hospitality group and I model so I'm sort of just working in these two careers to 
get by. What is your biggest goal? Um, I just ultimately always just want to be happy. I don't dream of like laboring. I don't dream of a, a job. I just want my own personal happiness and health for my family. I also would love to retire ASAP. I want to just be able to travel more and to get back to doing hobbies that I really enjoy, like reading and photography. Something I love to do for fun during the spring is um, I like to stalk the cherry blossom trees that bloom in Central Park. Last year I was like looking at all of the different trees that were blooming in different areas of Central Park. There's different variations like Kwanzaa cherry trees, the Yoshino, and so last year I made it a point to just go to the park as much as possible so I could see those different cherry blossoms blooming and look for different, like different difference in their petals and in their bark. This, this sounds like all really nerdy, so I'm getting really nervous. Um, I've never confessed this before. That's a hobby of mine, just like watching flowers bloom, but specifically the cherry blossom trees are like my favorite. There's a lot of variety, and especially in Central Park, there's like a really, really diverse range. Right now, I think the Quan, Quan, Quanzan cherry trees have just bloomed, but the Yoshino cherries are the most famous. Like they have the lighter pink, smaller flower, and those are going to bloom soon, and people really love to go to Central Park to see those. And you can find them near the Cherry Hill. Oh, that's really cool. I don't think I've had one since the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> so this is awesome. I can't read that. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Some <laughs> random French brand. Where'd you get it? Uh, Essence. This is a thrifted bag. This is a kafia. Um, and then I have a thrifted wool skirt and a hand dyed sweater. Wow. Yeah. You did that yourself? Yeah. Did you make your earrings? Yes, I did. Wow. What do you do for a job? Uh, I'm an interior designer. If you were to give one piece of advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? Trust your feelings a lot more. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Am I going to see this somewhere? What are you wearing today? Um, that's a great question. First of all, hoodie. This jacket's from some English company. I don't know what it's called. And then I had to have it tailored because it was just ridiculously huge. When I first got it, the, the sleeves were like pillowing out to here. <laughs> Glasses are a killer. Pants are dickies. But it's like a cry, uh, laugh now, cry later collab. And then just some good old sand sneakers, you know? Very clean. Appreciate it, man. You look fucking great too. Thank you. Where do you get your style inspiration from? Oh, dude. Um, that's a great question. Everywhere. Pharrell. Although I think I fall way short of the mark. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to wear less black, but black just seems to be my thing. So yeah. What do you do for a job? Uh, I run a branding company. Could you so, say what that is? It's called George. All right. So we just make brands and fix brands. What is one goal that you're working to achieve? I want to buy a house. Are you from New York? Yeah, uh, from Sydney. Awesome. What? Stop it. Yes. Why? <laughs> because they're rare. Oh, dude. Oh, nice to nice meet to you, meet man. You, yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks for yeah, making no my day. Take care. I'm wearing redone jeans, rag and bone boots. My bag is Reformation. Sweater is Reformation, and my jacket is men's diesel. That's so cool. Thank you. I'm trying to be like a an intentional shopper, like buy things that I can wear a lot with other things. So I like a lot of like classic pieces. I like some feminine aspects, and then to like to add some masculine aspects to it as well. What do you do for a job? I'm a model. Are you from New York? I'm from Chicago, but I've been in New York for over 10 years. If you give one piece of advice to a younger version of yourself, what would that be? Believe in yourself and do things 100%. I love that. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Take care. See you. What are you wearing today? Uh, a lot of Ralph Lauren. <laughs> uh, the hat, uh, pants, and my shirt is from Polo. And uh, the Silver 14s jacket is from Double R Row. Polo is my favorite brand. Thank you, Polo. So I work too. Where do you get your style inspiration from? It's like a, a mix of like Ralph Lauren, obviously, and I want to say just like New York, you know, just like stuff I saw growing up and like stuff I see now and just like taking what I like and trying to mix it into what I'm already doing. What is one goal you're looking to achieve right now? Moving up in my company. I love that. Nah. <laughs> oh shit, that's fire. Yo, thank you, bro. <laughs> 
we gotta save this one. What are you wearing today? Oh, um, this is okay. This, both my skirt and my blazer is from Valley Village. Um, they're both thrifted, and then this is from like a grocery, no, not, like a superstore, and this is from Aritzia, my tube top. It's mostly thrifted. This is also thrifted. Uh, I think this is from Zara. This might be from Zara. Um, wearing Uniqlo heat tech inside, you can't see it, but it's cold. <laughs> um, but I guess from like a online oh, store oh. called Amazing okay. Song. Oh, and, yeah. I love this jacket. Oh, thank you. So what do you guys do for a job? I do cancer research. Yeah. Awesome. How about you? I work in investment banking. We're yeah, from Canada. Canada. What is your biggest goal? I think a lot of just learning more about myself because we're in our we're in our twenties, you know, living alone. I think you learn so much by like just going out to do things, experience new things. So, like reflecting about you know things that around you and yourself and learning about myself, like pursuing my dream in medicine. On top of that, probably just. Knowing that, you know, it's okay to be a little lost, it's okay to not be sure about certain things because we're in our early 20s and then also just living in the moment as much as possible, um, you know, making great memories with friends and loved ones and family, so. Yeah. I second that. Sure. My favorite quote is, it's okay to be uncomfortable. In fact, it's great to be uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. That was a great quote. Yeah. Oh my gosh, thank, thank you, you so much. much. <laughs> Amazing. This is my wife's jacket. She doesn't have a brand yet, but she just hand sewed it at home. It's all like nostalgic patches. So like this is my grandma's name. We met in Vermont. I'm from Italy, so a bunch of Italian tags. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Are there any on the back too? Yeah, yeah. The whole like yeah. She's yeah. killing it. Yeah. How about your shirt? This is New York uh, Dinner Club down the street over there. Okay. There's a big rodeo thing. They say it's got like a little uh, what's this called? Polo tie. Yeah, yeah. So and then these are um, the collaboration between Drake and uh, and Emily on Dior. These oh, pants. Those are really, so, they look really comfortable. Yeah, they're awesome. Super flowy, summery. Yeah, they're cool. What do you do for a job? Uh, I'm in venture capital. All right. Yeah. What venture is one goal that you're working to achieve? Ooh. Moved to Italy. My family's from there. I just uh -huh. learned Italian, so I want to have a, a home there. So getting my citizenship. You're getting married there in September? Okay. I like your jacket, by the way. Appreciate that. Is that your last name on yellow? You already awesome. know. Oh, I appreciate it, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, today, I mean, listen, I don't know what the brand is, but uh, I found it in my dad's closet like a couple of years ago. Um, I don't know, I just liked it. That's okay. sick. Yeah. I like the patches just, on here too. Thank you, yeah. I mean, it's probably like from the 70s or 60s, but just saw it um, when I was moving here and I, I took it. Nice. <laughs> what are the glasses? The glasses? They're a lesser, full main. Me? Um, I would say Trifted, Depop, Depop. This one I think Zara. And this is Sandra from Spain. Oh, those are really cool. Yeah, very cool cowboy boots. I always just walk past people, they'll be wearing something, just try sneak a little sneaky photo, <laughs> <laughs> and then like go online and try and see if I can find something similar. Uh, I think it depends about the way I feel, like how confident I feel. Like I feel like I get my inspiration from a lot from the city, people from different places. I like old fashioned vintage stuff. So like 70s, 90s. What do you guys do for a job? I work in uh, cyber security in the city, at Checkpoint. I'm a student. I'm an occupational therapy student. What is your biggest goal? I only moved here two, like coming up two years, so it's still like a bit of a continuous goal, but just uh, trying to build uh, a life here for myself and making it more home. That's, that's what I'm trying to do. I would say just do things I love with people I love. Just be happy. So where do you get the spacesuit from? So this is an actual NASA space suit. Everything down to the boots, to the helmet. Do you use any of the utility clips or anything like that? Um, only when I'm out of space. Right now, since I'm on Earth, I'm still getting used to the gravity. <laughs> but honestly, like I have to say, my Revo's really grounds me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Make sure to check out one of these other videos if you enjoyed this one. I love you so much. Peace. Oh, yeah.